It started on a 2003 trip to visit American troops in the Middle East. The Sergeant Major of the Army, Jack Tilly, and music business executive Ted Hacker came home with an idea they called the American Freedom Foundation. And when we came back from those trips, I said, I want to devote my life to helping these guys and these women who have made it possible for us to live the life that we live. Because of their sacrifices, because of the kind of things they do each and every day, uh, really it allows us to be free. We want to make a difference. And, and uh, if we can help you know, one child go to school, uh, or maybe one family build a house, or maybe one family send a kid to college instead of just not having the money to do that, that's the one I want to do. I want to make a difference for our military. For eight years now, they've made that difference by handing out checks to over 30 organizations that help veterans and their families. We just went over a million dollars in donations tonight. <laughs> to me still, we're just at the tip of the iceberg. In 10 or 15 years, we'll be helping millions, I think, and we, at least hundreds of thousands of veterans around the country. Instead of just uh, channeling money to one uh, particular effort, uh, the foundation spreads the money across multiple uh, veteran organizations. We like that idea of uh, being able to help you know, multiple causes. That's why Michael Morehouse's company, FGM Incorporated, donated this custom motorcycle for the foundation to auction off because they believe in the American Freedom Foundation's mission. I think we all owe a debt of gratitude to our veterans. There was zero time that we needed to think about it. I mean, this was the right thing to do. What is life if you can't make a difference for somebody? And I feel we're able to do that. And Lisa Reeves says Easter Seals is able to make an even bigger difference for veterans' families, thanks to the money donated by the American Freedom Foundation. They made one and one equal three, period. Exponential impact. Taisha Bennett, Department of Energy, how are you? The foundation is making an impact in other ways, too, like this veterans' career hiring event held in November at the American Freedom Festival outside Washington, D.C. Finding work in the private sector is one of the biggest challenges veterans face, and this event gave hundreds an opportunity to meet with potential employers. As a foundation, we are answering the call that has been put forth by our government and our administration to do something about the unemployment rate in, in, among our veterans. It's no Concert events like this one featuring Daughtry are the foundation's main programs. These shows have raised a lot of the money that has later been given out in grants. They've also featured some of the top acts in music and have been televised around the world on the Pentagon Channel. As the foundation grows, so do its programs. This year there are three concerts, a charity golf tournament, and three veterans career hiring events taking place in cities across the country. We have so many bigger dreams and so many bigger ambitions to try to raise as much money as we can to help as many veterans and military families as we can. The men and women of our military have left their families behind and done whatever was needed to protect our freedom. Thousands have come back wounded. Thousands more didn't come back at all. The American Freedom Foundation will continue to help these veterans and their families, but that can't be done without your support. Uh, I believe that there's nothing you can't do if you want to do it. If you want to hire a vet, if you want to help a family member, if you want to help your country, if you want to help whatever, all I'm asking, all we're asking, is make a difference.